So body and mind is about how to have more fun in your classroom, but also experience being in your body, which will slowly have disconnected. How many of you have ever made a decision with your brain? How many of you have ever made a decision with your heart? How many of you have ever made a decision with your gut? Right? So I was studying martial arts as a, when I was younger, went to college, I learned from this one Kung Fu teacher, my first Kung Fu teacher, Sifu Tom. Hey, Sifu, S-I-F-U, not Sifu Tom. That's the guy that was at the uh, Red Lobster I met later. Okay, so, I don't know, I just like Tom. Some of the stuff's not for you. Guys. Okay. So, um, he told me to come up to him and, uh, you know, give a little push. Just to kind of push him over. By the way, the first time I met him, he sees how big I am. So he's like, oh great, here's a target. The guy's like this small. He's like, come towards me and attack me. I'm like, okay. So I take one step towards him. The guy squats down like this, puts his elbow out, and then I walk with my leg into his elbow, and my body goes down. So I literally cause my own, like, stop. So I'm like, oh, okay, I have a lot to learn from him. So another time, he goes, he's like, okay, come, Ron, come up here. I'm like, oh boy, because I was always the guy that was getting thrown. When he says, Ron, come up here, that usually means I'm getting thrown, I get some wall, flip, whatever. He's going to show how to take down the biggest guy. So he goes, push me. And I go, okay. And I went like this, and he took a couple steps back. We're going to test the limit on the stage, by the way. So then what happens is, he goes, okay, hold on one second. And he does this kind of thing. You ever see this in the movies? He goes like this. He's like, And I'm just like, uh oh. Like, I don't know what's about to happen. I don't know what's going to happen, okay? But something's about to happen. So then he goes, okay, push me again. And I go, okay, and I go like this, and I push him, and I move back. And I'm like, what's going on? And I push him again, and I can't. Now I'm in full ego. Oh, I try to move this guy a third my size. And I'm like, all right, what gives? I don't get it. And he said, the first time, I put my mind in my brain. I'm like, oh! Ever be that person? You hear somebody say a word you don't understand instead of going, I don't know what that means. You stop them. You just pretend like you know it, but your whole face showed you had no idea what that word was. Like, okay. So he goes, the first time I put my brain into my, I'm sorry, I put my mind into my brain. The second time, I put my mind into my feet. And I went, okay. And then years later, I go to my first chiropractor. And my car anybody ever go to a chiropractor? You know, one of these people that you lay down on this table and you put your hands, they put your, their hands around your neck. And after seeing every single Steven Seagal movie there exists, I'm laying my head in this person's neck and this person's going, relax. Because if this person, you know, you like that. So I'm like, I can't relax. My neck gets tired. He goes, wiggle your toes. I'm like, what do you mean, wiggle your toes? Wiggle your toes. I thought about my toes, I wiggled them, all of a sudden my neck relaxed and he adjusted. I heard a pop, like the lights turned off. Then he goes, wiggle your toes again, wiggle my, and then I thought about it and he adjusted me again. So through these two experiences, what I learned is that you can move your mind anywhere. Think about your right ear. How many of you just went? Think about your left pinky toe. Think about your right thumb. Think about the chair you're sitting on. Notice how your attention, your focus goes there. So we actually have different parts of our body that we can make decisions with, but we haven't really been taught that. So we've been making a lot of decisions with our brain. We say things like, you get what you get, you don't get upset, knowing that's not going to benefit anybody. And if somebody said that to us, then we'd lose our mind. But what if you made a decision with your heart? What if you made a decision with your gut? The heart has more intelligence and it sends more messages to the brain than the brain does to the heart. The gut, your microbiome, have you heard like the gut biome, all that probiotics and stuff? Why do you think you crave sugar? It's not that the adult goes, I want sugar. It's the little microbiomes in your stomach, these little, little creepy, crawly things. There's like millions of them in your stomach, right? Everybody focus, pay attention. Hi, little thingies. There you go. They're all in there, right? So... These are the ones that crave sugar, but what if you were about to make a decision where a kid says something to you, or somebody cuts you off, and all of a sudden you're like this far away from their bumper, because for some reason you're taught to believe that I'm going to show them they almost got into an accident by almost getting into an accident. And that somehow makes sense to us. But here's the deal. That's also not someone that's your brain making a decision with your inner child backing it up. Your inner child, the one that goes, no, cut in, and then you hit the person in the back. And you're like, what just happened? 